coming to court. And you know that that person is on the right, but that person is being blamed for that which is not being <coughs> guilty for. If you know the truth, you should stand up for it. You should support this person for that which is the truth. If you know somebody is rightful, and you yourself know in your heart that I know it is the truth, don't shy away from it. Remain steadfast. And Allah says, be staunch. Be strong for justice. Even though it may be against itself. He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, again mentions some of these conditions. Not just when it's all right for you, that you stand up for justice. Even when you know that it will have a diverse effect on me, it may have a bad effect on me as a human being, yet again stand up for the truth. People, especially the media, always you know, use Islamic context, Islamic Sharia law, as or Sharia context and acronyms as grown out of proportion. For example, when the word jihad is mentioned, people's eyes go wide open. Because the way the media has flavored the word jihad has become a very political correctness word. But rather, the Prophet says, the greatest jihad, the greatest sacrifice a person can do is to stand up against a tyrant ruler. So if you are standing up in front of a ruler who is a tyrant, who is unjust, then to stand up in front of that ruler and to speak the truth, there cannot be a bigger sacrifice than this sacrifice. And here the Prophet turns this sacrifice as jihad. A sacrifice that you will stand up in front of the king, in front of the emperor, in front of the ruler, in front of the government, when you yourself know that by saying the truth, it may have an adverse effect on you, Allah says, stand up for the truth. Be stone for justice. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes on to say, that even if that person be a rich man, or that person may be a poor person, don't make a difference. Don't say because this person is rich, if I know something which is the truth, and I don't say it, because if I say this truth, it might get that rich person into trouble. Allah says, don't differentiate. Say the truth. Be upright. If you know a rich man is doing injustice to his wife and his children, and you are aware of it, then it is a moral responsibility of a Muslim. But if he is aware of this injustice, and he stands up to this rich person and says to this person that fear Allah regarding your family. Be just to your family. In a similar way, if a person is poor, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says there is no difference. If a person is poor, me and you see some injustice, we see something is wrong, we should stand up for the truth. Regardless of what he may be. And Allah says again and say, Allah mentions quite vividly in the Quran. Even though it may not be in your favor, still stand up for the truth. And we find many a times, you know, all of us are involved, that we will only stand up for the truth when it suits me and you. Whenever it's comfortable for me and you, only in that situation will we stand up for the truth. If we see a friend who is doing something wrong, if you know a friend who is quite clearly doing injustice or doing something wrong against another person, we tend to remain silent because he is our friend. <coughs> That cannot be a friend, because tomorrow on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of course, will bring that person who is doing the injustice, doing the unfairness upon another person to account, and you as well as a Muslim. Because why? You, knowing what is right, remain silent. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes on in the same ayah to mention, that don't follow your desires. Don't follow what your heart tells you, because if you do that, then you will go astray. That, what I mentioned at the beginning, that a Muslim is along this path, this road that is taking him to Jannah. And there's so many things that are pulling him off this road. And if you follow your ego, your nafs, then you will fall off this path. And be very, very difficult to reach your final destination in Jannah. And if a person knows the truth, and he follows his desire to hide the truth, a person knows that his fellow Muslim brother or his fellow sister is right, but he remains silent. He, co he zips his mouth and remains silent. And the result becomes that this person is wrongly accused of something. Then on the day of judgment, me and you will be responsible for the same thing as well. And as I say, it's very, very evident. We live in a society where everybody thinks about themselves all the time. Me, myself, me, myself, me, myself. 
And even when you stand up for the truth, we think first, what benefit does it give to me? But for a Muslim, the mentality should be, if my Muslim brother or my Muslim sister are going through an unjust situation, then I as a Muslim have a responsibility towards them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentions in another part of the Quran, وَتَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْغِرِّ وَالْتَقْوَى وَلَا تَعَاوَنُوا عَلَى الْإِثْمِ وَالْعُدْوَانِ That support one another for that which is righteous and that which is God-fearing and assist one another in refraining from those things that which is away from the teachings of Allah and which, is, which leads to sin. And again, we have a responsibility. Many a times, I myself fall into situations that, I'll give you an example of marriage. A lot of the times, cases come where a husband and wife are going through a, a dark moment. Disagreements, families are involved. And at times, the husband's side is aware that the husband is at fault. But because he's one of them, because he's one of the family members, the person remains silent. The person doesn't stand up for the truth. And what that results to is friction. Family disagreements. But the reality is that even though that person may be one of us, he may be my brother, he may be my son, he may be my relative, but if we find somebody to be on the wrong, we have a moral responsibility to ensure that we assist them. Allah, Allah says, help them for that which is good. In many, many parts of the Holy Quran, if you open the Holy Quran, you will find in Surah Nisa, Surah Ma'ida, in many, many parts of the Holy Quran, Allah, again and again, Allah doesn't use the word terminology, Allah doesn't say, Ya Yuhal Nas, or people, or mankind. He's not talking to everybody. Allah says, Ya Yuhal Ladina Aman. These are the words Allah uses. All you who believe, all those people who believe in the one Allah, and all you people who believe in the final messenger of Muhammad Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Qumu An Kusakum. Sorry, Allah says, Ya Yuhal Ladina Amanu. Allah says, be staunch for that which is the truth. Be staunch for justice. And we see it today. Not just in family situations, not just in social situations, even around the world. We see, we see Muslims are, being, are going through very, very difficult times. Muslim countries, Muslim areas, Muslim surroundings go through very, very difficult scenarios. We see oppression right in front of our eyes. But the first people that support that oppression are the Muslims. Which should not be the case. When we see oppression, we should stand up for that which is just. Even though that, that oppression, and by standing up for that oppression, we might find it difficult for ourselves. But we should not shy away. We should stand up for that which is just. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, mentions in, in one of his sayings, that لا يحب لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب لنفسه ما يحب حتى يحب ليافيه ما يحب لنفسه. That none of you can be a true believer, a true Muslim. None of you can stand up on the day of judgment in front of Allah Azza wa Jal as a true Muslim until he does not love for his brother that which he loves for himself. If I was in a dilemma, standing in front of a judge in a court, and I know that my fellow brother here knows that what the truth is. But yet again, he does not stand up for me and does not support my cause. Then I will feel very, very hurt if I know a close friend of mine knows the truth, but I am being blamed for something which I am not guilty for. But this person, for his own back, for his own gains, does not stand up and support me. I as a human being, all of us sitting here today, if we were in that dilemma, that situation, we would feel very, very hurt. We will feel either that brother, that friend, that close relation, relation has stabbed us on the back. Why? Because he knew or she knew the truth and yet again they did not stand for us. So if that's how we would feel if you were the situation, what about the other way around? When we are the ones who know something about the truth and yet again we do not stand up for the truth. So this is a very, very important notion. The Prophet also mentioned in another part, uh, in another saying of his, Imam Muslim, Imam Tirmidhi and other mentioned this hadith, that the Prophet said, that on the day of judgment, every person will become accountable for his actions. And the valid, the transgressor, who has done bone, transgression, oppression upon somebody else, then on the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will treat him in such a way that he will come with so much a'mal, with salawat, with hajj, he will come with umrah, with zakat, with, with so much good deeds. And he will stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he will be content 
But inshallah, through these a'mal and through these mountains of a'mal, Allah will 